welcome to my course, Game Development Basics. I'm Jim. If you're new to the channel or you just discovered this course, I want to let you know that this course originally aired back in December of 2022. Now, I don't want this to discourage you from viewing the course. A lot of the core concepts are still relevant today in more updated versions of Unreal Engine. But if you're looking for a course that's a little bit more up to date, I do have another course called Game Development Bootcamp that you can try as well. But that being said, this course is still very relevant and I do recommend it for those that are new to game development and are looking for something a little bit slower paced. And over the last couple years, I've also learned a lot more about developing these courses and I've learned a lot more as a developer. And another thing is that the original intent of this course was to create a much longer 24 week course. I've since made the decision to just keep it to only eight weeks. So if you hear any references to a 24 week course or additional weeks after the eight week course, that content has been put off for a future date. So from this course, you can expect an eight week blueprints course. So in this course, we'll do an introduction to game development. And for this, we're gonna be using Unreal Engine Blueprints. Now, Unreal Engine Blueprints is a great place to get started if you have no previous experience as a game developer or as a programmer. Blueprints is a visual scripting language that allows you to easily create games without needing to write a single line of code. So it's perfect for beginners. And this course is going to be eight weeks. So we start from the very basics and we build from the ground up. And throughout this course, we're gonna be building four prototype games that you as a developer can make a decision to go on and further develop into fully released titles. And this is an overview of what we'll discuss in each of the eight weeks of this course. In the first week, we're gonna be creating a game called Ball Maze. And during this week, we'll be learning the very basics of Unreal Engine and of game development. This project is a great entry project for any beginners because we're gonna start with the very, very basics and start to build our knowledge of game development. In week two, we're gonna be creating a game called Bug Squash. And then this week, we're gonna to continue to build upon the knowledge that we gained in week one. We'll learn about actors, timers, and loops during this week. And by the end of week two, we'll have the foundation for our second prototype. In weeks three and four, we're going to be building a game called Haunted House, and this will be a first-person survival horror prototype. During weeks three and four, we'll learn about level design, how components work, and how to add sound to our game. In week four, we're gonna learn about interfaces and event dispatchers, which are some tools that allow various parts of our game to communicate with each other. In weeks five, six, and seven, we'll build our fourth prototype game, which will be called Space Fighter. In week five, we'll learn about inheritance, which is one of the core components of object-oriented programming, which allows your games to be very scalable and stable throughout the development. In week six, we'll learn about structures and data tables, which are some tools that allow us to have data-driven game designs. And we'll also learn about the game instance class, which allows us to pass information between levels in our game. In week seven, we're gonna focus on learning one of the core principles of game development, which is source control. This is what allows you to save your game's progress and revert back to any previous state of the game if you do by accident create a game-breaking bug. Source control will also allow you to collaborate with other developers, which means you can start to expand your team and build a much more complex game. And then in week eight, we're gonna bring it all back together and we're gonna to return to each of the four projects to put some additional work into each of these games to get them ready for release. And we'll also talk about the process of building your projects to get them ready to release on various platforms. And I do also wanna set the expectation right at the beginning of the course on what you should expect to learn. I will teach you throughout this course the basics of game development, and this is a great foundation to start your game development journey. I'll teach you some basic programming principles using Unreal Engine Blueprints, which as I said, is a visual scripting language. Now, if you decide to move on, the foundations that we learn in Blueprints will be applicable to other game development languages as well. I'll also teach you some common design patterns used in game development, that you can use for other projects outside of this course. I'll teach you how to demonstrate your skills across multiple game prototypes. 
And all of this will prepare you to start building out your own games or to collaborate with a team. And these are just some of the things that I will not be able to cover in this course. I cannot teach every aspect of Unreal Engine in eight weeks. There's just way too much to learn in a short time. But I will teach you the foundations that then you can use to continue your learning into other areas that interest you. I will not teach advanced programming principles. Again, this is a beginner course, but I will equip you to go on and learn those other principles by the end of the course. I won't be spending a lot of time getting into the details. This course provides a broad overview of many topics, so I'm gonna teach you the basics of many things, and then you can take that learning and go on to focus on certain areas that interest you. Now, we are gonna be creating four prototypes, but you will not have polished games by the end of the course. The expectation is that each learner takes the foundations of these games and makes it their own. We wouldn't want a million carbon copies of the same game out there. So the idea is that you can use the prototypes to build a game that suits your own personal style and needs. And I'm also not able to provide the source code for any of the projects. A lot of the assets that I'm using are proprietary and I don't have the authority to distribute these assets. But if you have specific questions about how something works, you can always reach out to me through the Discord and we can review your project. And I wanna leave this lesson with just a few tips that'll help you be more successful in the course. Now, as I said, this course came out about two years ago when Unreal Engine 5.0 had just launched. And at the time of recording this video, Unreal Engine 5.5 has just released as well. Now, the engine has changed a lot over the course of two years, but the foundation of Unreal Engine has stayed mostly the same. But this means that if you use a different version than the one that I'm using, you may encounter some difficulties while you're trying to create these games. So my recommendation is that you use the same version of Unreal Engine that I'm using in each lesson. For most of them, this is gonna be Unreal Engine 5.0. And just know that if you decide to use a different version of Unreal Engine, most of the content should remain the same. But if you encounter any differences, you can reach out to me through the Discord and I can provide some guidance on how to get you back on track. Now, this course is designed to be taken over the course of eight weeks. So I recommend that you try to keep pace with the pace of the course. Plan out some time in each of your weeks to complete the content of the course. And it's okay to get a little bit ahead or if you fall a little bit behind, but the course is designed that you would complete the 10 lessons for each week in that given week. And each person's speed for learning is a little bit different but you should estimate that it's gonna take you about four hours to get through the content of each week. I also recommend that you complete the content in order. If you have some experience in Unreal Engine, you may think that some of the lessons are repetitive or go over things that you've already learned, but there may be crucial tips in each of these lessons to help you. So I do recommend, even if you think it's just gonna be a review, that you go through the lesson because you may learn something anyway. Now, if you get stuck, I recommend that you use the various resources that are available to you. So there's always the Unreal Engine documentation, or you can do a Google search based upon when you get stuck. You can also reach out to me through the Discord. There's channels for this course to ask questions based upon the current week that you're working on. And I also recommend that you check the comments of each video. There are a few cases throughout the course where people have noticed a discrepancy in the way that I taught something and the way that it's applied, or maybe I missed a crucial detail. So if you get stuck, you may not be alone. Go through the comments and see if it's already been addressed before reaching out to me. And the final tip is to challenge yourself. In the beginning, you may notice that it takes you a little bit longer to learn something, but as the weeks go on, the goal is to become an independent developer that doesn't need tutorials, that you can start to develop things on your own using the tools that you have. And the best way to learn this skill is to start early. So I recommend that you challenge yourself throughout the course to do the content with as little help as possible. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.